Hello and welcome to another episode of the Top 3 Pen series. My name is Jost Oppelbaum and every Monday we post a new video about the personal Top 3 Pens of Penfluencers. If you don't want to miss out on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel now. For founder pen lovers, the name Ink Dependence probably sounds familiar. Mike hosts a blog on his own website, inkdependence.com, and is also a familiar face on YouTube and Instagram. Mike has chosen three pens from his extensive collection with a personal story behind them. I hope you guys enjoy the video and make sure to check out Mike on his own channels. Hey folks, Mike here from Inkdependence, the YouTube channel and inkdependence.com, the blog. And I'd like to thank Yoast for having me on the top three pens at Applebum. Uh, this is a cool series and I have three pens, so I am perfect for this. Okay, so they said I could take top three to mean whatever I want. It could be my favorite pens, it could be uh, pens that have a story, it could be whatever I want. And so I took the tact of having three pens that have sort of a personal story and a connection to me. And so I'm going to share those with you today on this short video. Uh, so let's get started. Now I have fairly eclectic taste and this is the first pen that I bought for myself with my own money as far as I remember. I've had fountain pens for quite a long time, but this is the first pen that I bought myself, I think somewhere in the mid nineties seems about right. And I'm almost certain that it was at a paradise pen in uh, Houston, Texas. This is a Rotring Core. Uh, this is uh, a weird looking pen. I get it. I know that it gets a lot of, um, it gets a lot of funny looks when I bring it out in public. When I tell people I have, a, I have collected all the colors of this, as far as I know, they're like, that's a choice. And I'm like, yep, totally is. Uh, this is a pen which has a really over-designed aesthetic. You've got these sort of rubberized parts up here. You've got this extreme wire clip. You've got this uh, like ribbed plastic back with a rotring name. You can see it's actually starting to yellow a bit with age and such. I've had this, I mean... I've had this since the 90s sometime. Also, when you open it up, it still looks uh, unique. This is uh, a pen that has a very extreme saddle here for the grip section, but it is also very, very comfortable to use. Please don't mind the, the dirt ground into my pores. It's weeding time here in North Carolina. <laughs> so, um, and then you open it up and it's a cartridge converter pen. It's got this weird system here for using cartridges. They said sometimes when you get have cartridges, you get some like, I don't know, vacuum lock in there. And so what you're supposed to do is you put the cartridge in there and that pushes these little ears down and then you screw this down on there. And then if it stops writing, you can unscrew it a little bit and it'll lift this up and then when you screw it back down, it'll push it back down and it'll lift the cartridge out just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of air in there and then it'll scooch it back down onto the, the, the little nipple way down in there that you attach the, the cartridge to. Now, I don't know if that works or not, but it's a cool idea and uh, this pen really appealed to me as somebody who wanted to have a weird thing in his pocket. If I'm going fountain pen, I'm also going to go weird. So that's pen number one, or at least the first one I'm going to show you. These are not in any particular order. These are just pens that are special to me. So, Rotrin Core. All right, number two, uh, this had to make the list. Anybody who knows me, they're like, is this gonna be on the list? Yeah, it totally is. Uh, and this is a pen that was a gift. It is a prototype. It is uh, no longer available. It is not even, uh, <laughs> they, they make this style of pen, but not this pen with these features. This is the uh, Franklin Kristoff Model 40 Panther. Uh, and this is a special edition of it, uh, like the first one. I actually think this is a real prototype. They do uh, color prototypes and that sort of thing now, but I'm fairly certain this is a real prototype of the actual, like the Panther 40 line. Uh, and so when we take a closer look, we'll notice that it has some things that the current Panthers don't. Uh, it has, <laughs> if you know, as I just said, I have an eclectic aesthetic. I like a weird looking pen. And uh, this has a long cap and a relatively short body. It's one of those, uh, those short long pens. It also has a small cap, this is a, or a, a short clip, which is a clip style that they used to use and don't anymore. It has triple bands here in the cap. No longer do they tri do triple bands because that is a bunch of work. And uh, the section is also different from the current models, but it's a very comfortable section and I really like it. Um, now, the reason that this is kind of personal to me is not just that it's a prototype kind of one-off. As far as I know, there's one, maybe two of these that exist and that's, that's special all on its own. But 
Uh, it also has uh, the uh, orange and white bands in there. Scott Franklin and my wife, Audrey, who now is the nib person over at Franklin Kristoff, uh, and I all went to the University of Tennessee. And uh, before that, Audrey and I went to Bowling Green State University up in Ohio, and they are an orange school. And I, I love orange. I've got a lot of orange. Y'all know I like some orange. And uh, this pin is... It's kind of perfect for me. So Audrey was looking for a Christmas present and she was looking for something special. And so she contacted Scott and was like, hey, what do you have cooking? As far as I know, that's the story. And um, that's really special. So this is a pen that my wife and a friend of mine in the pen biz came up. Uh, when they, like they didn't invent it for me, but like this is a gift that was that was meant for for me. And it like has this thing that we all share. And that's really cool. And uh, and I dig it. So thanks, Audrey and Scott, for this pen. I, I still love it. I've had it. As best we can tell, it was sometime in like 2014 or 2015. We don't really remember. And this was well before Audrey was working at Franklin Kristoff. We were just friends with the Franklin Kristoff crew because we'd see them at pen shows and they're pretty local to us and all that. So very special pen. Franklin Kristoff, Panther 40, always going to have a special part, uh, uh, special place in my heart. All right, so number three actually is a little bit hard to even talk about. Um, <laughs> I've done a couple of versions of this video. And so this is a Schaefer Legacy Fantasy Edition. Uh, and this has a lot of connections for me. And, uh, <laughs> and I really, it's kind of special. So um, this was a pen that was uh, put together by my, uh, my late friend, Jim Rouse, who was uh, the nib specialist over at Franklin Kristoff until he suddenly died a few years ago. And um, he was a Schaefer guy before he was a Franklin Kristoff guy. And he used to do Schaefer repairs, I believe, is the way that story goes. And he had a bunch of new old stock parts for these legacy pens, but uh, he got um, Franklin Kristoff to make new barrels for them in all kinds of wild acrylics and things like that. And this is one of those. So the reason this pen's a little bit hard for me to talk about is it's one of those things that I was like, I kept putting off because I'm like, look, there'll be more of those. I know he's got a bunch of these parts. And, uh, you know, I'll just let other people get them because I've all, like, you know, I'll have Jim around for a while and I'll be able to get one before they go away. Like, I'll know before they all disappear. And then Jim, like, suddenly died. And so there went that chance to have this thing that was, uh, like, put together by a good friend. And that was, I was very sad about that because they were just, they were gone all of a sudden. And secondarily, this pen um, was ground by Jim Rouse. This has an oblique nib which I like quite a lot. It's a very nice oblique on there. Uh, it wasn't ground for me. This pen uh, is one that I actually bought after Jim passed away from my friend Matt Armstrong of the Pen Habit, well, formerly of the Pen Habit. So I have in this pen like uh, a remembrance of my friend Jim who had the parts and ground the nib and did uh, the barrel and such. And also uh, it went through the hands of another good friend of mine, Matt Armstrong. So uh, neither of those people do I get to see nearly enough. So... Uh, very special pen for me personally. So there we go. Top three uh, for Apple Boom and uh, Mike Ink Dependence Madison. Uh, the Rotring Core, the Panther 40, and, um, and the Schaefer Legacy Fantasy. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you all, um, you know, enjoyed it and learned a thing or two and will come over and see me over on uh, YouTube where I do the Ink Dependence channel. So I'll see you later. Peace out.